Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. Let's go. Let's return to the Little Jack. Now, next on the old portal call is going to Sailor's Island, which was... No, that is not what I wanted to do. Game. Return to the Little Jack. We do not need to go back to b -b 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 back to Sailor's Island. I don't think we ever uh, not uh, Shrine Island. I don't think we ever need to go back there. Um, now, Sailor's Island is just up this way. Let's go. So, who's who are you? Merchant ship. From what I hear, Valio has added another admiral to its ranks. That makes six main fleets in the Armada now. With that many ships, they must be up to something. I wouldn't want to get on their bad side. Yeah, that would be awful, wouldn't it? Definitely don't want to get on their bad side. Um, okay, so we need to go down and under. Actually, do we even need to do that anymore? Eh, we probably don't. I was going to say, because we can now ram through those reefs, if memory serves. But, anyway, let's quickly head to Sailor's Island. Because we need... Oh, hello. Do... What's that? Domingo. Hey, are you the guy that everyone's talking about, Vase? Right? I heard you broke out of the Grand Fortress. Good job. I'm sure you've heard of me during your travels. I'm Domingo, treasure hunter extraordinaire. Huh, you've never heard of me, you say? Now, now, you don't need to be so bashful. I know you're truly excited to meet the real Domingo. Nevertheless... I have given up on searching for lost treasure, and I've taken up a new quest. I now search the world for discoveries. In fact, I'm in the, midst, uh, in the midst of my search for the fabled Topple Rock. Topple Rock? Interesting. Who was that? He seemed to be more than a little full of himself. I don't know, but it sounds like he's looking for discoveries too. Well, we can't let him get the best of us. We'll just have to find him before he does. Yeah, so apparently, if we do bungle that up, he can actually find the discoveries before we do, which we really don't want to happen. Welcome to the Sailor's Guild. We'll pay very well. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Hey, oh, that was it. We finally got our money for defeating Matey Boy. Right, so an ancient guide post. Well, we already did that, didn't we? Guide stones. I've heard rumors of its existence, but I'll pay you for its exact location. There we go. So, we've done guide stones. Now, a perfect balance. Hmm, I mean, it's only five gold. It's near uh, Maramba, that harbor town in the desert. Should be pretty easy to find. Okay. Okay, well, we'll keep our eyes out. So... Baltar the Blackbeard. We've got rid of him. So next is Rupee of the Lasso Clan. Bounty is 2,000 gold. A NASA pirate who attacks non NASA airships. Alright. Interesting. He is the leader of the legendary Lasso Clan. The former leader recently passed away. So it was thought that they had disbanded. But they have recently attacked uh, Maramba. They are known for fierce strength, so prepare to defend and heal yourself. Well, we shall put them to the sword, I have no doubt. So, we got a black spot. It's a message from the Angel of Death. Sounds like you're in trouble. Better watch out. Uh, better watch your back out there. In every port of any size, you'll always find... Yeah. Ah, we've received a black spot. Now, that is to do with the moonfish. I'm not sure how we use that. Wanted list. Uh, so, black spot. I think it might be a key item. We've got four moonfish. Black spot, a note written. Ah, a note written in red ink on jet black paper. I await you west of Sailor's Island. Ooh, interesting. So we've got our first challenge. Now, from what I can understand, these challenges are from a 
rather interesting individual that wants to attack us and it's related to finding the moonfish so let's go drop a save uh, are you Vase the Determined? I heard you were traveling in these parts. Thanks for stopping by my inn. The rooms are 60 gold a night. Would you like a room? Uh, we won't actually. Because we want to save it first, just in case we do bump into this person. I can't remember how tough this person is. Because I've never fought this person. Yeah, <laughs> because I don't... Oh, hello. Who are you? Ah, it's the Mystery Merchant. I am known as the Mystery Merchant. I travel the world selling in my exotic wares. I have items that you may never uh, never see anywhere else. Come take a look for yourselves. Uh, buy and sell items. Let's have a little look and see what you have. So you've got a thermo ring. That's useless. Ooh, slayer ring. Raises defense and hit. Um, For Drachma, that's pretty good. I mean, his... Is it, oh god, fuck me. I didn't see how expensive that was. Jesus. Okay. Well, we don't know what that is. And the crist the crystals box is pretty good. Uh, We'll leave it for now, though, because we don't really need them. I'll see you later, buddy. Okay. Now, where's this black spot? Now, where did it say that she was going to fight us? Right, so that's got to be north. What did that say? I mean, we're only here anyway for a cham. Right, let's go find the cham, and then we can worry about fighting her. Pretty sure the cham is not in here. I was a cham. Where would I be? Oh, that was weird. Ha! <laughs> Draw distance. No reef. There's the reef. No reef. Reef. No reef. Reef. Ah. I thought that's where. Where is the bloody cham? It's not back here, is it? Nope. Hang on. Where's my bloody jam? Oi. Read this. <clears throat> ah, right, okay. It is actually in the... It is in here, apparently. My bad. <clears throat> so, we need to go up to the next area. Oh, also we can feed chams to Cupel because we can get an item called a Chom. And that will make uh, him spit up all of the chams that you've already fed. So, there we go. We've got another cham. Right, let's start feeding Fina. Or feeding chams. There we go. We've got three. Cupel. So now he's Cupel Blade, and his attack has gone up by quite a lot. Oh wait, do you feed... I guess we feed him all of the chams in one go. Okay. Uh, also, let's have a look, because we've got a Moonberry. But I guess we can't use the Moonberry yet. Ah, super moves. There we go. Right. Fina calls upon the silver moon and bless each... Oh, with regeneration. Uh, yes. Hell yeah. That's really fucking useful. So we're going to grab that. All right, cool. We've got that. Let's get out of here. Okay, now, if I was a... Marker, where would I be? Back in my pencil case, of course. Right, so let's mark that cham off. Nice. Now. Now we just need to deal with pastel. 
I believe her name is a pistol. I think it's supposed to be like a play on words for pistol. Um. Okay. Now let's go find out wherever the hell she is. She's on this island somewhere. It's not 100% sure where. But it would be nice to actually battle her. Ah, is that her? Nope, that's Lawrence. Uh, I do have money. I don't know if it's enough money for you, but I've got money. Black spot. Where the hell is she? Can't be that far away. Hmm. Uh. Ah, wait, hang on. I'm being an absolute moron. You don't actually fight her here. Right, let's return to the ship. Yeah, you don't fight her here. You actually fight her out on the high seas. Or the high skies, I should say. Right, let's drop a save. Because from what I can understand, she is quite tough. Uh, like I say, I've never fought her before. So this is all going to be new to me. And I might drop a save there as well. Because we don't want to miss out on any... Things. Now, this is not... Ah, that's an enemy ship. Should we see if we can take it? <laughs> Let's see if we can handle this thing. Looks quite basic. Now you will feel the power of the value and empire. Prepare to face the destructive power of the magic cannon. They have a magic... Magic cannon. Interesting. That's a spell ship. Let's... See if we can sink some damage. Wow, that hurt. Let's soak up some damage, charge up our primary cannon, and then we'll unleash the boy. Should be able to destroy him pretty quickly. Now, the only trouble with these um, battles is much like the um, normal standard battles. And one second, guys. I have a phone call. Okay, and we're back. Well, good riddance to bad rubbish. Not bad, and we get a lot of XP and a good amount of gold for that as well. Fina's leveled. Nice, that was worth it. 
And we get the Wave Bomb. Now, the Wave Bomb is an interesting item. It's actually for our ship. And if I look under the right bloody thing... Yeah, so the Wave Bomb. That's actually an item that we can permanently miss if we leave it too long before getting. So, glad we got that. Okay, let's head back. Yeah, sorry about that. My landlord just phoning me up to tell me that uh, tomorrow, which will be uh, the 10th or the 9th. I'm not actually 100% sure what the date is right now. Uh, tomorrow will be the 10th. We're going to have no water for the whole day because we're having maintenance done. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to have to go to the shop and get some supplies later on then, but that's fine. Um, right, let's go and get everything rested and healed up. I'm glad we took that ship out as well. We can get our ship repaired for 60 here, which is considerably cheaper than uh, if we did anything else. So let's stay the night. Now we are in a little bit of competition. Okay. Let's get out of it. Let's drop a save. Now, we're not actually going to fight Pistol or whatever she's called because I do want to level up a little bit first. Um, from I did a little bit of reading uh, on my guide whilst I was talking to the old landlord there. And apparently, we are potentially significantly underleveled for what we need to do. So, that's fine. Now, let's return back to the ship. And everything done we can head to get some um, discoveries so let's go do that want to get those discoveries before the other guy does which would be really bad for us to be honest so we want to go back to um, Shrine Island and then we can head east from Shrine Island so, a little bit something like that. And then we're going to go east. Through here. Oh, really? Really, dude? Really? Looks like we've just got some bottom bitches. I'll catch you guys in a minute. If I can find my mouse. Okay, apparently, apparently my mouse is not working. Nope, there we go. Now I can cut the video. Okay, cool. Bugger all experience for any of this, but we are still... Hey, we're still getting some new uh, spells, which is nice. So, forwards! Forwards onto Dawn. There we go. We can push straight through that now. Okay. So, where, pray tell... Is there any discoveries here? It doesn't look like it. I think there's a discovery over here. Is it the Sky Coral or something? The next one? Uh, it's a little bit finicky. Sometimes to find what you need. Now, are we going to get new enemies? Nope. Same old, same old. Yeah, we're still... I mean, I guess the money's not bad. And we're getting some items. It's just, unfortunately, everything else is a bit shit. Green Island? Anything? Nope. You got nothing, dude. What about you? Ah, there we go. So, we found the Sky Coral. Excellent. It's another one to us. Mark that off the old uh, D Whopper. There we go. So, microorganisms called sky coral attach themselves to moonstone boulders and grew to form these reefs. They flourish only in very specific conditions and can take 200 years to grow. Their various colors and shapes have long been valued for their beauty. Excellent! Now, also. There's another. I'm sure, there's another discovery around here somewhere. God damn it! 
Stop fighting! Oh, big fish. Get the fuck out of here. So apparently what we're looking for is over here somewhere. Yeah, so Ica, or should I say Fina? Fina needs to be apparently, what about over here? Fina needs to be about level 15. Where is what I'm looking for? Where is it? Where's the next discovery? Apparently it's literally here somewhere. We go down. There's some fish above us. Well, that's no good. Bingo! We found the silver moon pit. I was going to say, I knew it was around here somewhere. Only small islands such as Pirate Island and Shrine Island lie in the area where silver moonstones fall. So deposits of this, la uh, this large are very hard to come across. Legends say the silver moonstones hold the power of life, but the truth remains unknown. Well, I mean, from what we know about silver magic, that appears to be true. So, let's go and mark that one off. So we've got four discoveries out of like nearly a hundred. So we're doing well. We're doing well. Now let's give it a save as we finally found those ones. And we could probably hand them in when we get to um, the next main city that we have to go to. Now we need to have a look. So there's Sailor's Island. We've gone through the reef. Um... What we could do, one second, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to try and hand in these uh, moonfish. Right, let's Hi. hand in some moonfish. I see you've caught some moonfish here. Let me feed the little critter. Feed the burn a moonfish. We gave the moonfish to Maria's bird. Now, yeah, so this wasn't in the Dreamcast version, so I'm kind of interested about this. So he gets, ah, that thing is getting big. Jeez, I wonder how much more it will grow. Well, we've got a lot of things to feed it, so. Ew, it coughed up something. Oh wait, there's something inside, um, a hairball. Tell you what, as a token of my appreciation, you can keep whatever the bird spits up, okay? Yay! What a malevolent bastard you are, Doc. You received the Rhizome Crystal. I don't know what that is. Alright, well, thanks, I guess. Looks like you've still got some moonfish left over. Do you want to feed another one to the bird? Yay! You gave the moonfish to the bird. Now, this thing changes quite a lot from what I can understand. And also, feeding this thing is uh, all the moonfish is how you get the best weapons in the game as well which obviously that wasn't in the dreamcast version this is all new stuff so this is really exciting for me uh it's getting big gee i wonder how much more it'll grow let's see well we still got some more ew it coughed something up what's inside it what do we get this time warrior's rune oh, i wonder what that is oh, we'll have a look so we've got Oh, hello. Maria, look how big your little bird has grown, Maria. And it's all thanks to this young man and his friends. Ah, you're welcome, Maria. What, 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 M Maria, did you just say something? Aha, it's working. M Maria. Well, we still got a couple of fish left, I think. Baze, I, I can't thank you enough. I don't know how many years it's been since I've heard Maria's voice. What? You mean to tell me your own daughter hasn't spoken to you in years? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up there, honey. I'm still single. And I don't even have a wife, let alone a kid. Oh. Maria's not my kid. She uh, lost her family a few years back. This is so cool. This wasn't in... What the hell is this? 
I may not look the part now, but at one point in my life, I was a Valiant soldier. I worked for Mendoza, former Admiral of the Valiant Armada, as a doctor on board his flagship. And Maria and his daughter... Oh, and Maria is his daughter. The daughter of a Valiant Admiral. Oh. However, when she was still very young, she lost her father and the rest of her family in a horrible accident. It was hor a horrifying experience for such a little kid to go through. Since then, she hasn't shown a hint of emotion or spoken a single word. And I don't blame her either. The poor kid had to watch her family's ship with all of her family on board sink below the clouds. Oof. Yeah, that's pretty rough. So I took her under my wing and retired from the military. And that's why I became a free ship doctor. That's why it's sort of my responsibility to make sure Mar uh, Maria is happy. It's my responsibility and my punishment of sorts. What did you do? Oh, oh, I'll be right there, Maria. Ever since she stopped talking, whenever she needs me, she just rings her bell like that. And every time I hear that bell, my heart nearly breaks. Baze, I beg of you, please find more moonfish. The little bird, for whatever reason, seems to be getting through to Maria. She seems to be coming out of her shell at long last. Who knows, maybe Maria will actually smile again someday. Yeah, I probably shouldn't get my hopes up, but I can't help it. But, I'm going to bet on you. Something tells me that if anybody can heal Maria's wounds, it's you. I'm counting on you, Baze. Uh -huh. Um, okay. Well... We're going to try. Uh, dude, I still got more moonfish. I only gave you two. Got four. Hi. I see you caught some more moonfish. Here, let's feed the little critter. Go on then. You gave the moonfish to Maria's bird. It's definitely getting bigger. Now what do we get? I wonder if it's going to like change shape or something. So what did we get this time? Flame mantle. Hmm. Not sure what that is. Feed it another moonfish. So I think, did I say there's 24 of these? Yeah. No, yes, 23 of these things, but we've hit a fuck factor. When you get so many, you get a black black mark or whatever it's called, where we have to go and fight Pastol. And we can't get any more moonfish until we've done that. Jeez, I wonder how big it will grow. Well, I have no idea, but we're going to find out. But we're underleveled, apparently, to fight Pastel. Ooh, it coughed up something. Oh, wait, there's something inside. The, um, herbal. Go on, what do we get? Gem of fluidity. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Right, we'll keep catching fish. Why not? So, ah, bugger. I have a horrible feeling there are cats in here. Well, we're at the end of this video anyway. Uh, let's have a little look. Uh, now. Can we... There we go. Right, so let's have a look at our items, shall we? We got... That. Uh, ah, okay. So, that will heal. Everybody, I guess. Or that will heal one person, I suppose. So, what else have we got? Throwing blades. So, nothing there. Heavy robe, nothing there. Black eye patch. Ah, right. Boost defense and magic defense and protects against stone. Okay. That and a warrior's rune. Ring with... 
Let's take engravings. Interesting. So, if we equip... Let's see if we can take that off. What does that do? Warrior's Rune. Wow, okay. Warrior's Rune... Apparently is really good. Increases our hit by a lot. And our defense. Yep, well, I guess we're going to be wearing that. Okay, so... Ica. Uh Fina might actually be better off with the gem of fluidity. Actually, no, it puts her will and her magic down by quite a lot. Uh, maybe. Drachma, no. What about Ica? Is it any good for her? So it puts her attack down by a measly amount and her hit down. But her defense goes up quite a lot and her magic goes up by quite a lot. Uh, and it protects against stone, which, you know, is a thing. Um, I mean, the attack is marginally different at all, but the, the hit goes down by quite a lot, but it's fine. Um, now, I can't remember what the other things that we got were. I wish we could just go into items without having to select someone. So, we got... Nothing new there. Now, we've got a Captain Stripe, which will increase uh, how much health our ships have. But I kind of want to hold on to that for a little bit longer. Because you don't think we'll be having the little Jack for the whole game, do you? Uh, let's just say this uh, this is not our ultimate ship. <laughs> I'm not going to ruin anything, but if it's not pretty bloody obvious, it should be. We are going to get a better ship down the line. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one here, guys. Uh, when we come back, we are going to go to a new town, a new area, and hopefully continue making discoveries and exploring. In fact, actually, in the first part of the next video, we might quickly pop into Sailor's Island just to sell our discoveries that we have got. So, anyway, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.